In this session we'll be looking at the three different control methods used in Chuck's challenge but before we do that we're going to have a quick look at the rewind feature and the camera mode. If you ever walk the wrong way or push your block into a corner you can undo your last moves by pressing the rewind button which can be found in the top right hand corner. Let me demonstrate. Now you can press the rewind button as many times as you like and it will keep going back. Now to resume play you either swipe a new direction or alternatively you can press the play button and the game will resume. Now to enter camera mode touch the screen with two fingers at the same time. Once in camera mode it works a bit like a photo. To exit camera mode touch the screen with two fingers. Swipe control can either be used by the finger or the thumb. Personally, I recommend your finger if you're using the iPad and your thumb if you're using your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, the first thing you need to learn is how to move just one square at a time. Now, what you're going to do is swipe very gently on the screen, and as soon as Whoop starts to move, take your finger off the screen, like so. Now, get used to doing this in all directions. Once you've got that sorted and under control, you can learn how to continuously walk. Do the same sort of size swipe and then just keep your finger held down. To stop, just take your finger off the screen. Now that you've mastered how to move one square at a time or continuously walk, you can learn now how to stop. Now the secret of stopping is to release your finger off the screen as Whoop enters the square you wish him to stop. So I'm going to try and get him to stop on this gravel square here. So I swipe my finger down and hold, and then release as he begins to walk into the square, like so. Get the hang of doing this in all directions, taking your finger off the screen each time to stop. Once you get good at that, you can actually make it so you never have to take your finger off the screen, so Whoop is always moving and changing directions. So you swipe, change direction of the swipe, change direction of the swipe, change direction of the swipe. Now you've got that sorted you'll be able to try much more difficult stuff. Once you've got the controls mastered, you'll be able to do death mazes without taking your finger off the screen. Like so. Control power can be used either by the thumb or the finger. Personally, I'd recommend the thumb, as it's just like what you would use on a control pad. And like swipe, we're going to learn, first of all, how to move just one square at a time in all directions. So just practice pressing forwards, backwards, left, right, etc. If you want to continuously walk, all you do is just hold down the button. And to stop, just like swipe control, just take your finger off. And again here, we're going to practice stopping. So as soon as we enter the grey square, take your finger off the control pad. Once you get confident with it, you can move around all these four grey pads without actually taking your finger off the control pad. So I'll go down and swipe over to the next area, swipe again, and swipe again across like that. When your thumb's actually in the centre of the control pad, he won't move, just like it would on an old controller. Once you have mastered control pad, you'll be able to take on the death maze without taking your thumb off the screen, like so. Joystick can be used by the finger of the thumb. It is actually very similar to control pad, so I won't show you through all the exercises again. But if you do like this method, I recommend that you do a practice on the little tasks I showed you earlier, like these ones down here. If you're struggling with the controls, I would recommend you use control pad if you're playing on the iPhone. It's the one I would use to set all my personal best times. And if I was playing on the iPad, I would recommend using swipe control.